All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Return of the Rangemaster Rifle mod, which is being made by user jcruz05. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is that old classic Colt Rangemaster Rifle, which we did see in the original Fallout 1, 2, and Tactics games. And oh, that makes me happy. I loved this gun back in those days. It uh, You found it pretty early on, but it was pretty heavily used, as it was always a solid weapon. So I am happy to see it here in Fallout 4. So let's take a look in the inventory and have a little gander at what we do get with this particular mod. And as you can see, it is a pretty nicely made weapon, though uh, if we look at it how it used to be, that's roughly the angle it was in the old games on that uh, that little button in your pit boy. Ho, oh, oh, ho, the old times. But yes, now in Fallout 4, we get a full, beautiful 3D view, and this is quite beautifully modeled and quite nicely textured. And with all standard modifications, it will do a base of 37 damage with 5.56 ammunition, with a firing rate of 28, range of 203, accuracy of 75, and a weight of of 11.3. Now we actually do have a fairly good number of different modifications, including the ability to change the ammo type, which I find a bit strange, but I can roll with it. And actually, come to think of it now that this is 556, I think in the original games it was 223. Don't quote me on that though, it's been a very long time since I played 1, 2, or Tactics. But you can make this into a fairly decent number of different weapons, such as, uh, you know, perhaps you want to go with more of a stealth sniper build, you can do it with this gun, or even go full out deadly automatic combat, that is a possibility as well. So let us go and have a look at the modifications, and then of course do our usual test firing. So let us just head over here to our weapon workbench, and start with, of course, receivers, where we have the fairly standard affair of them. From standard calibrated hardened on up to advanced and calibrated but what we have here is a very special one for anyone who really does love automatics because uh, all of these receivers are all semi-auto the only automatic receiver for this gun is this one and you have to have rank 4 of gun nut and rank 4 of commando for it but boy do you get a lot of damage out of it that is that is pretty nice. And I mean, come on, it's fun to have an automatic weapon. Now, as for the barrels, not as many things in here, just two different ones. The standard long barrel or the short barrel for if you want to, uh, you know, have the poor hip fire accuracy. And then in stocks, we have three options, either the full standard stock, a makeshift stock, or no stock, which will lower the weight but greatly increase the recoil. And then in the magazine category, we have four options, the standard small, a small quick eject, medium, and dual medium magazines. Next up, we have sights, and we actually have quite a good selection in here of more or less any scope you could want. We got recon, we got night vision in all of its different variations, we got standard scopes, and we even have reflex scopes. Or, of course, just with these standard iron sights. So a lot of different options here, which is always a good thing. Next is with the muzzle, where we either have the factory muzzle, which does nothing, or a suppressor, which of course, you know, suppresses things. Next up, we have the ammo type, where for just a small amount of steel, you can change it to pretty much any ammo in the game, which I'm a little bit meh about, purely because I, well, honestly, I don't even know why I feel meh about it. I just kind of do. But since it does have requirements and even a gun nut requirement perk here, I'm actually perfectly okay with this, considering how many different kinds of ammunition you have in the game, might as well use it. 
And then finally, we have the tape options, which may look a little bit strange, but this is how the uh, game in, or the gun in the original games did look. It was all taped up, and so you have either the standard tape, a green tape, or no tape, if you do just want to go for a clean look. And that is everything with the Range Master. So let's go take some shots with this thing, and there we go, just head over to our usual spot and with the standard gun we do have just the standard in-game sounds but still a fun weapon there we go some pretty usable iron sights hip firing it though is uh, <laughs> not exactly great but it is functional now this is as quick as the gun does fire it is meant to be a civilian style hunting rifle so definitely not military grade so it is a much slower firing accurate weapon no well at least if you are shooting down sight with the uh, hip fire oh it's not good so let's move on to one of the other variations let's go for the suppressed sniper version here where we do have the scope sitting on the front which is a little bit strange I'd much prefer the scope to be sort of sitting over you know more towards the back but hey it works and there we go we have suppressed sound there we are, so you can do a little bit of sniping with this thing, and it is pretty darn accurate. Now, of course, we had that uh, pretty fun and expensive automatic receiver, so, I mean, we, we have to, we had to do that, too. And there we go. Now, that is with the largest magazine size that you can get for this gun, and that is also the fastest it can fire. Again, just like with the semi-auto, this thing isn't meant to be military grade, it's meant to be civilian grade, so it is a little bit slower in its firing rate, but I am perfectly okay with that. Though I do wish we could get some bigger magazines, as 18 rounds, well, you go through that pretty quick. So, that means on to our poor test subjects over here. Poor Randy and Will, oh boy. I gave them a break over the holidays, but now, now it is time for it to all come back. So of course for uh, yeah, Will here, I think we'll do the sniper rifle, then Randy will use the automatic since it's a little bit more powerful. So let us uh, just get a good sight in on Will here. Wait for him to stop, cause well, me trying to shoot even a standing target is, well, not always great. But there we go! One shot to the head and he is down. That is good. Now let's uh, switch it up to the Range Master, which actually, I should point out on this one, it does even more damage than when we saw the uh, automatic version on this one, because I was using 5.56 ammo for this one, and uh, 7.62 for this one. Changing the ammo will add about two points of damage, either plus or minus, depending on which type you're using. So we are, of course, using a more powerful 7.62, which means this is the most powerful you can make this particular gun, which, hey, 120 is pretty darn good. So, uh, sorry, Randy. Ooh, he went down very quickly. Ah, uh, wonderful. You gotta love the Range Master rifle. And, uh, yeah, that is it to this gun. It is definitely a fun little weapon. I love seeing it back in the game because, well, I, I really started my gaming with the original Fallout games, so I always love seeing those old nostalgic bits popping up which is just a good addition. So if you'd like to check out this gun for yourself, which I definitely suggest that you should go and do, you can take a look at the link in the description as per usual, and definitely go check it out, have some fun, and you know, just play around with a cool new slash old classic gun. But that's gonna be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until then, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.